नमस्कार एंड आदाब दिस इज यस्ट्रोलॉजी फ्रेंड इरफान सैयद वंस मो विथ यू माई फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेसमेंट फॉर वर्ल्ड वो असेंडेंस ऑफ द रिसेंट ट्रांसिट ऑफ राहु एंड केतु इन योर टेंथ हाउस एंड योर फोर्थ हाउस रिस्पेक्टिवली आई कंसिडर द टेंथ हाउस एंड द फोर्थ हाउस टू बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हाउसेस फॉर एनी नेचर and the reason being is the 10th house denotes your career your work your karma and the results that you get out of the career and work and the fourth house is the house of domestic bliss your all material comforts houses vehicles all sorts of domestic appliances all riches that you can get and of course domestic and mental peace if you don't have peace in your in your life you don't have happiness in your life mental happiness in your life domestic life happiness in your life then what do you have and if you are not doing well at work if you are not well respected at work your work is not doing well you are not getting gains from your work then there is a problem so with this transit of rahu in your 10th house and ketu in your 4th house for virgo ascendants it's very important also because saturn is already transiting your fourth house so with ketu and saturn both in your fourth house it gives very different results for virgo ascendants with rahu being in the 10th house so let's not waste too much time let's just jump into the analysis and let's understand what the rahu and ketu transit in your 10th and 4th house for virgo ascendants mean so let's look at the transit of rahu and ketu in the 10th house and the 4th house for a virgo ascendant today now what results does rahu give when placed in the 10th house in transit rahu as we know is a planet of giving increased hunger giving increased aspiration and greed for the results of the sign and the house that it is placed in or in transit so rahu sitting in the 10th house for virgo ascendants gives more hunger gives more greed gives more focus and aspiration for the results of the 10th house now what is the 10th house the 10th house denotes karma or what you do in life it is also related to career and to your work so in transit in the 10th house for virgo ascendants the focus during this period will be on your career will be on your work will be on your business if you are in business and will be on getting gains and results growth promotions from that work or from that career now placed in the 10th house and wanting more results and gains from the 10th house automatically mean would mean that the focus being on the 10th house work will be in focus and a virgo native will be focus a lot on work will give a lot of time to work will put in a lot of hard work on his career at his work and maybe even put long hours at work however because of this focus at work and the greed and the hunger for the results a virgo native may also feel that he has not been given the justice of his, of the fruits of his labor so far so which means that there could be friction at work friction with colleagues and even with supervisors and with managers at work at the same time so the communication because it is sitting in the sign of gemini which denotes communication marketing branding the native would also try and bring his work in focus he may work a lot on his presentation on his communication on his or her effort to shine at work to come in the limelight and also take go the extra mile to showcase their work work on their presentations work on their communication and try and convince and also influence the bosses and the supervisors and the management that they are ready to be promoted or ready for an increment or ready for a better role change 
so virgo natives will go through that if rahu is well placed in your natal chart then you may also get an increment you may also get a promotion at work or at least you will shine at work or there may be also extra responsibilities added responsibilities or a role change as well so your placement of rahu in your natal chart in your personal horoscope is very important with this position now sitting in the 10th house what do rahu's aspects mean one of the aspects of rahu placed in the 10th house is on the second house of earnings so rahu natives or virgo natives for this rahu placement would want or would aspire for more earnings and more savings coming into the house coming into the home and would want such a role change such a job change or a promotion where their earnings also increase their savings also increase so they may also look may look at long term investments or savings for security for long term or in their old age and because the focus is also going to be in career and on earnings and if a virgo native is not satisfied at work then he or she may even want to look out for a change and maybe even get a change where they are looking more at earnings than really the quality of work they do or a quality of brand that they work with or what kind of role they do so virgo ascendants need to be a bit careful with rahu's transit into the 10th house that they should not miss the woods for the trees which means that your focus should be on the job on your role and the designation that you do and should not be too much led by this transit only on earnings and on savings the other aspect for rahu placed in the 10th house for virgo ascendants is on the 6th house of service now this placement is very important for virgo ascendants because rahu is placed in the 10th house one aspect is on the second house of earnings and the other aspect is on the house of service in aquarius aquarius also stands for large organizations social network extended circle of friends and extended circle of people that you know specifically work related so with a focus on the house of earnings and on the sign or in the house of service a native may look at how he has got the fruits of his labor from that particular service so the focus is going to be on work focus is going to be on career and the kind of work they do and because the 6th house is also the house of hidden enemies competition such a native of virgo ascendant will also become very competitive at work may also attract hidden competition because he is or she is trying to get into the limelight so automatically their competitors will also get activated and energized and virgo natives may face more competition at work more friction at work also and specifically with subordinates because the 6th house is also the house of colleagues or subordinates okay now what does ketu place in the fourth house denote for virgo ascendant natives as we know that ketu absorbs the results of the house and sign that it sits in sitting or placed in transit in the fourth house ketu here absorbs all the results that the fourth house can give you during this transit which means generally fourth house results of all the material comfort that you get in life including houses vehicles domestic appliances comforts luxury items all this will become harder to get in this particular phase so if you are looking at buying a house be very careful of what property you buy because it may become a wrong investment for you and your money may be locked up or get into trouble if you are buying cars be careful of what cars you buy and the brand that you buy and if your paperwork is diligent and good specifically for property so that you don't run into other trouble 
because K2 will absorb the results and not allow you gains on the fourth house. The third thing that K2 does sitting in the fourth house is absorb the results which the fourth house gives which also constitutes domestic peace, domestic happiness. So at home you may be less focused and you may spend less time at home and you may get, get less attention from your family members and so because of frustration at work because of Rahu's placement especially if Rahu and Ketu are not well placed in your natal chart or your, in your personal horoscope then you may not get mental peace during this time and because of frustration you may also face issues at home because you may get your challenges and your problems home with family and the, you will also see that during this time there may also be distance from family this is an important placement of Ketu in the 4th house. Now what does Ketu's aspects mean? Sitting in the 4th house, while in results of the 4th house Ketu may not give you gains, but Ketu will also not allow many changes of the 4th house or bring a sudden big change which could either be for good or bad because Ketu is also a change bringing entity. Similarly, it's focused on the 8th house in Aries, which is a very fiery sign and the sign of Mars may also bring in challenges of health. While Ketu's aspects on the 8th house absorbs the energy of the 8th house and Ketu is not bad sitting in the 8th house. However, because it is Aries ascendant and based on where Mars is, this may or may not you know trouble however there may be sudden incidents which make you also visit the clinic so one needs to be careful specifically with wearing helmet if you are if you go on the bike or wearing your seat belts because there may be sudden challenges to help because the eighth house is also the house of accidents and sudden developments the other aspect of ketu is on the 12th house of hospitals of clinics, of seclusion, of losses and that's why it's important that one takes care of your health during this transit because Ketu is sitting at home, in the home, at house, affecting your domestic bliss and affecting your 8th and 12th house which would mean that you get into trouble through small accidents or in some trouble through your car or your vehicle resulting in visit to the clinics and hospitals in a sudden development and you get secluded or you will get even bedridden why bedridden because the 12th house is also the house of bed pleasures so one needs to be careful during this transit now what does saturn sitting or placed in the fourth house in transit mean again because it is sitting in the fiery sign of sagittarius saturn gives limitations to the results of the house that it sits in and gives the results only after a lot of hard work, organized effort, structured effort and persevering and putting in long hours of work over a period of time. Now because it is sitting with K2 which could also mean because K2 absorbs the results of the house while Saturn limits it. So in spite of very hard work that a native does because of Rahu's placement in the 10th house but because of Ketu and Saturn not allowing material gains and, and money coming home in the form of income or in investments so frustration may keep creeping. So what is advice to the Virgo ascendant natives is to persevere, continue to put in hard work but also be very patient because Saturn rewards those who are very patient people. So during the phase of this transit and towards the end of the transit, you will feel or you will see that there may be some gains which come out of this Saturn and Ketu placement in the fourth house if the natal chart horoscope also has them placed well. So. Virgo Ascendant native should gear up to put in a lot of hard work, to persevere, to be very structured at work, to be very organized at work, not to get into any arguments, not to 
get into any challenges with its superiors and supervisors and treat fellow colleagues and subordinates well because saturn is also the lord of those people who work below you or under you now what does saturn's third aspect mean saturn's placement usually is seen as to be good because it protects the results of the house it sits in though it delays the gains of the house and the results of the house whereas its aspects are not considered to be very good saturn's third aspect here falls on its own sign and on the sixth house of which it is also karaka of so while rahu's aspect is also on the sixth house and saturn's aspect is also on the sixth house rahu gets you to become more competitive and more energized to compete with colleagues with fellow colleagues whereas saturn protects you from competition so you may find that if your saturn and rahu are well placed in your natal chart in your personal horoscope then you may overcome competition and you may also gain by overcoming competition this is a good placement for students who are sitting for competitive exams like ias and for engineering or medical entrance exams or even for ca or for mba entrance exams because both saturn and rahu placement or aspect on the 6th house of which both of them are co uh, lords also is a good placement for you however because the 6th house is also the house of illness of sickness and also the loss of marital life being 12th to the 7th house one needs to be very careful both to take care of health because if saturn and rahu are not well placed in the natal chart then a visit to the clinic sudden chronic ailments long term ailments man may again show they showcase themselves or suddenly spurt up and be, being the 12th house to the 7th house and denoting the losses of the marital life if your 7th house is not well placed in your personal horoscope then this this these two aspects of saturn and rahu may spoil your marital life bring new challenges in your married life and also create issues people who are already in line of separation or divorce may also see that it may fructify during this time so people of virgo ascendant natives should be careful of this particular aspect of saturn specifically because of the transit in the fourth house and in sagittarius the other aspect of saturn is on the 10th house and on rahu itself which means that while the native virgo native will be very very focused on career have enhanced greed and enhanced hunger for results from work saturn will put a plug on the 10th house which means unless you work very hard through the year and you mean one and a half years you may not get the results of the particular house the 10th house and career if you are not putting in lot of committed hard work and not doing it right trying to take shortcuts will not work with saturn saturn will not allow you to get gains out of a particular sign and house if you are not doing it the right way and in the right manner in a structured manner over a period of time with perseverance so virgo native should be careful not to push too hard for growth push too hard for job change push too hard for increments while you do that but also be patient and put be willing to put in the hard work so that those results come about and the next aspect of saturn the 10th aspect is on the lagna itself the first house itself which means that saturn will protect you from sudden changes to your personality to your health to how you are seen but you may also become a little lazy and laid back you may grow stubble you may grow a beard you may not take proper care of yourself so while on one hand saturn will protect you because it is the aspect is on the friendly sign and mercury but at the other end it will also make you lazy with with the focus less, less on self and focus more on career and work and others so with this aspect be careful of how you look at yourself because this could also mean because the first house is also the house of personality 
and how you come across to others your image with people may suffer because saturn is aspecting the lagna itself lagna is also how you come across how you are seen by others what your personality is and what your pride is and how you are respected by others in society this is this may be more malefic if the placement of planets in your natal chart are not very really positive now that you have understood the results that the rahu and ketu transit are going to give for virgo ascendants please try and understand what this transit specifically means for you personally based on the planetary placements in your personal horoscopes in both in your natal chart and in your navmansh because the same results will not be for virgo ascendants while the explanation that i have given you will hold true generally to a large extent however whether you get good results or bad results out of your 10th house and your 4th house will depend primarily on the planetary placement in your natal chart so don't waste any time it's better be prepared so reach out to a personal consultation to understand what are the results that rahu and ketu will give you over the next 1 and 1/2 years this is your planetary placement in your horoscope so for a personal consultation with me please reach out to my email id in the links below and please subscribe to this channel because there are many many videos which are going to come forth uh, through through me and um, looking forward to meeting you once again until such a time we meet again ciao